A group of friends are left stranded in the woods after Chris rams their car. And as they venture deeper into the woods, they face an uncertain and blood-curdling fate. Now, cross your three fingers this doesn't get claimed, because I plan on doing the whole series. It's time to watch people die. The first kill happens off screen, gotta love that. After climbing the side of a not really a mountain, Richie loses his life. Rich, his name is Rich. Rich? It should have been obvious neither of them were the main character, but I really thought she was gonna be after Rich died. Guess not. In before you forgot the deer. Look, in old kill counts, people would whine if I left out an off-screen kill or a dead body. So this kill, I dedicate to those guys. Here's a dead squirrel. Oh, hey ho, I call it, uh, squirrel. Well, you said you were hungry, Kylie. After sexing and finding Evan's ear, which came off real fast after he disappeared, Redhead chokes on something else. She went into piss and stumbled upon a bloodbath. Scott suffered from an uncommon horror trope, being way too nice. Obviously he was gonna die, but why didn't his friends hit the gas when it happened? Did they think he'd get a second wind? <laughs> Realistically speaking, she was the weakest, but still badass. And now, thanks to the inbreds, she'll never be sad again. Cool. Can it be? He's actually dead and we won't be hearing any more of that annoying laugh for the remaining 20 minutes? Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Ironically, the cop is the only one who didn't see it coming. The way the inbred looks at the fire, you'd swear he's expecting it to tell him how it started. He was lit on fire and nearly gutted, but after taking an arrow to the head, he died after living for a few seconds because his brain is strong. This is a good movie, but this ending, they're inbred, they're not superhumans. In this clip, all three freaks finally die. Probably. In the end, 2003's Wrong Turn has a total of 13 Maybe. Like I said, these freaks were created like superhumans, so for all I know, they survive and make it to the sequel. My favorite had to be the finale, because again, they seem to be unstoppable, so I was glad to see them die. And I'm not just saying that because, oh, I'm glad it's over, I mean, I was glad to see them die. These were really hateable antagonists. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you back here again with more Inbred People. Are you looking for a new horror novel to sink your teeth into? My novel, Win Was, follows a man named John Miller and tells his story as he navigates a world ruled by the dead. Finally forced to live, throughout this story, John meets man-eating men, militaristic psychopaths, a silver-tongued madman, and death himself. And out of those few antagonists mentioned, none are as evil as the flesh-eating monsters plaguing the earth. Win Was is available on Amazon.com for under $9.99. Over 30 chapters, over 500 pages, at an extraordinarily low price. You can check out part one of the Win Was series using any of the links below, and when you're on the store page, click on the preview and you can read some for free. But before you go, who are you acquainted with?